Lesson number one, anybody can change the world. Lesson number two, a hand up, not a handout. Lesson number three, using social enterprise to solve critical issues. We have about 500 full-time team members that work with us here in Canada and internationally. To give you a sense, we received 24,000 applications last year for 240 spots. It's three times harder to get a job now at WEED than it is to get into Harvard. The reason I share that with you, for a very specific reason, is that we take business graduates more and more and more. Because international development graduates, we absolutely love. Poli Sci, love everybody we love. But we need to make sure that you have business skills. And so whether you're a business graduate, we want to say thank you. If you're a political science graduate or you're in psychology or whatever, take that stats course. Take the math course. Take the marketing course. We need well-rounded people who understand the fundamentals. It's so critical. So for us, the person that taught us this, and our meet a we line, our meet a we division, of how the fact that business truly can change the world is this fine gentleman right here. I know he's no uh, stranger to One Young World. He's very active with our organization. He's an amazing person. Of course, Sir Richard Branson. And the reason I share this with you is that I want to have a chance for you to feel the impact of this. As I mentioned, on all of your chairs, there's something called a Rafiki friend chain. Rafiki means friend in Swahili, the local language in Kenya, where we actually have a chance to employ 1,500 full-time women who bead these, including these amazing bracelets that can be used in a multitude of different ways, and also artisan's goods that are now sold in 12,000 retail locations in North America. 12,000 doors. These women make four times as much money as their men. Four times as much money as their men. And you see them, they're like, look at my goat. I now have a latrine. I now can send my girl to school is the fundamentals of business meeting social change, business and social change together. It's a powerful format. These women are now economically empowered because of this. And I want you to wear this. I want you to go home and I want you to tell the story of these women. Let's go to Kenya together.